Well, we really have been excited with our new industrial maintenance technician program. It used to be an industrial mechanic program, which was a one-year program, and now it's a two-year program. With that, we've been able to expand the curriculum significantly based on industry needs assessment and, and uh, community member inputs through other resources we have, such as our uh, advisory committees. We've synthesized all that, looked what's around the state and other regions, and put it all together to develop a really strong curriculum. In there, we have a new innovative model that students can enter at any point so they don't have to wait where the curriculum builds upon the curriculum they can just enter the program at any point because we've divided it up into somewhat related separate segments we have uh, machining maintenance machining we have one semester another semester's PLCs and electricity another's conveyors valves gasket seals and uh, we have the um, hydraulics and pneumatics Within that, we've also taken and created state-approved embedded certificates. So a person from industry or somebody trying to build up their current existing skills a little better or somebody that's only interested in one component can come here and earn a state-approved certificate in one of those areas like PLCs, electricity, machining, etc. It's really an exciting thing. We've grown the curriculum, added a lot of content, a lot of good training materials. We have one component that's coming for the uh, PLCs where there's going to be an online learning where people can learn in a remote format, go through and stop out where the instructor stops them, then come into the lab and work on the PLCs themselves. So it allows more portability around our jurisdictional area. Additionally, we've had this beautiful new building that you see, and this is the industrial maintenance technician room where we've been able to not only expand our curriculum, but to go along with that, we've been able to expand the space to do stuff in. In one semester, you may see a bunch of hydraulic trainers on a table or uh, things like that. And another semester, it'll be all electrical and PLCs where we can pack stuff away and move it to other areas. Through this uh, delivery model and with the new curriculum, we're able to serve a much larger crowd of uh, clientele, either through remote online learning or through um, somebody just coming in to pick up that one little spot that they're weak in as they already work in the maintenance field. So we're real excited and it's, it's been proving real successful. My name's Dave Linton and I was hired three years ago under the TAC-2 grant for the purpose of teaching uh, embedded math in the industrial mechanic program. I've got an extensive background in math, but I've also had a much more extensive background in computer science and in aircraft repair. Uh, so I've been in the environment where my office was the snap-on toolbox. Uh, and the embedded math program is a different kind of thing. The notion here is that uh, the understanding was in the industrial mechanic program, there were issues with students and math skills, and they needed to find ways to enhance that. Couldn't be done just by adding another math course to the program. Uh, the thought here was to embed the math instruction into the program course. And that's where I came on board. My purpose there is not to make mathematicians out of the industrial mechanics students, but rather to improve their math skills. And so I view myself as teaching uh, meat and potatoes math. In other words, it's the math you need. Uh, I never have the question from a student as to why do we need to learn this? Because I have immediate application for it. You raise that question, I got a half a dozen um, problems for you in my back pocket and I'll let you come up to the board and solve them for me. The, uh, I have some um, credibility in the class because I also have an industrial background, industrial experience, and I've been on the shop floor. So uh, I don't come in with the, the pure math background as a conventional math teacher would. The team teaching environment has been a very interesting one. Uh, we generally tend to do it by trading off. Uh, when the material is focused more on math, then it's gonna be my turn to talk about it. When uh, the program instructor is getting into issues that need a little bit more math support. If there's some questions student raise, students raise and I can answer it, I'll raise my hand and say, you know, give them some illustrations, something to help out with it. And on the flip side, when I'm getting into some program area materials within my presentation, the program instructor will raise his hand and point out a few things that I may have missed you know, because of the program skills. What we have found out in uh, testing our students, we do extensive pre and post testing of all of our students going through the program. And we've found that for students that are full-time taking a year's worth of, of training, 
that we have seen on average a two-year improvement in their math skills. That uh, you start out at a particular grade level and on average they are gaining two full grade levels. Uh, we're finding this to be a, uh, a very effective tool. We've also tested uh, the student attitudes towards the embedded math instruction and towards the whole team teaching environment. And I've run uh, evaluations, student evaluations of the instructor, and student evaluations of the embedded math uh, portion, uh, independent of the program portion and independent of the rest of the program. And I've had very positive reviews of the math portion. They like particularly that the math is applied, that it makes sense out of the material that they're seeing in the textbook. Uh, that it's, it's simplified life for them. It's, it's made, uh, given them a chance to understand it. Uh, so I've, uh, on average, I've had some very positive reviews from the students for that. You know, it's been very successful. I've been very happy team teaching. Uh, at first, I, I thought it might be a little odd having another instructor in the class, uh, but it's not at all. It's odd when uh, he's not in the class. So I highly recommend uh, the team teaching method. Uh, I think the students uh, appreciate it. Uh, you get two uh, people that are you know, experts in their fields, and by combining them, uh, you get a lot of coverage and uh, uh, also adds to uh, the program itself because uh, with the two instructors, the other instructor can add to my uh, instruction and I can add to his instruction. At Blackhawk Technical College, we have seven core abilities. I won't run through all of them, but three of those core abilities uh, uh, I'd like to talk about as it relates to team teaching. Uh, one is demonstrate professional work behavior. Uh, another one is work effectively in teams. And then lastly is lead by example. And uh, having an embedded math instructor in there uh, in the classroom when uh, Mr. Linton is doing uh, his uh, uh, math instruction, he runs the classroom. I don't bother him. I sit in the back. I don't leave the classroom because I feel that uh, uh, if I'm there, my students know that it's important. And it is very important because we're trying to increase their skills. Industrial uh, mechanics need more math skills. That's what our advisory committee says. So uh, anyhow, uh, by having uh, Mr. Linton run his section and I sit back and uh, I pretend to be a student. If he's uh, gone through his lecture and there's something I don't understand, I raise my hand and he calls on me. Uh, if he's handing out papers or giving a quiz, I, I look at the papers, I read them, I take the quizzes. So I, I think that works very well. So uh, we work effectively in teams. As far as the professionalism, when he's there, I call him many times Mr. Linton. I think it shows that I have respect for him and uh, that way my students know that uh, there's respect there because we're both professionals. And then lead by example. I can't expect my students to be using these core abilities if I'm unwilling to do them. So I think it just shows the students that how important they are. These are what we call soft skills. And these soft skills are hard to uh, you know, convey to the students. But if they see it, me using it, I think they can understand how useful they are. I think team teaching can be very effective if you select the right team, if you've got the right environment going, uh, it works very well. All of the literature on team teaching, the main predictor of success is the uh, ease by which the two program, two instructors work with each other. The uh, model that's stated by many people is that you think of it as a marriage and that basically a forced marriage isn't going to work well. In this situation, both Wes and I were hired specifically to team teach. Uh, we specifically had the understanding that this was how, going to be how it worked. And it's worked out very well. We coordinate materials before, the, uh, uh, before a class. We review it afterwards. We're in conversation, um, you know, talking about what we're noticing with what students, what each one of us can add to the, to the picture there. So it's, uh, it, it would, it's another set of, set of eyeballs for each instructor. Uh, 